Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is popular authors or books that you could not seem to get into. Well, as I mentioned in a previous vlog, I don't tend to read popular books as soon as they come out. So I don't have any modern fresh books to talk about here that I either did or didn't really get into. Thinking about the books that I really couldn't get into, and as a caveat here, it's exceedingly rare for me not to finish a book. So for me, couldn't get into is actually felt the effort of getting to the end rather than put down after a chapter or so and never returned to. So on the basis of book, popular famous books that I couldn't flow through effortlessly, I was thinking this of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, The Great Gatsby and a couple of others by Scott Fitzgerald, Desolation Angels by Kerouac, and Catcher in the Rye by Salinger. And there are a few other less famous books that have the same sort of issue with them. And they're not, it's not that they are the great American novel of their generation or anything, but it's something about what the great American novel is aiming for, potentially. <coughs> the problem was clearest to me with The Great Gatsby, which is very well written. Fitzgerald is a skilled putter together of words. His creation of the world and the characters demonstrates technical ability. However, the world doesn't really interest me and the characters don't really interest me. I don't read the celebrity section of the newspaper. I don't watch huge amounts of reality television. So The Great Gatsby, to me, was a lot like a copy of Meet the Cardassians, or whatever the programme's called, with potentially higher production values, because there's a lot of technical ability gone in there. But fundamentally, it held me no more than the celebrity section of the news would. And similarly with Steinbeck and Kerouac and so on, that the world is a world I can read in history books that about the Depression, about the Beat Era. I could read about that world. So there's nothing in the world to hold me. And the characters didn't really grab me. Again, they're well crafted, but that very skill of crafting the characters to be what the author, I believe, wanted them to be, means they are better, closer representations of people I don't want to read about. So for those books, which are rightly a good portrayal of the particular era they're set in and of particular problems don't grab me because there's nothing about them that makes them, for my particular experience, better than reading news reports from the time, history textbooks and so on. So whilst, as I've stated in the past, I split my enjoyment in, of books into characters, world, and quality of prose and can handle not having all of them be brilliant for me to love a book. If one of them is missing and another is, isn't special, then the book doesn't grab me. And by special, I mean it isn't a unique thing rather than it isn't a good well-crafted thing. So this is probably why when it comes to 
whether or not I'm likely to really enjoy a vastly popular book. I sort on speculative fiction. Speculative fiction books where the character is potentially not an ordinary human and the world is not this ordinary world have something there that's always going to hook me. So it's more than just this is a well-written example. It's got something to hook me. Whereas literary fiction, historical fiction, if they're about this world, they've got to hook me with that uniqueness in something else in the characters. So if they're writing about characters I don't care about, even if they're writing brilliantly perfect portrayal of characters I don't care about, I'm not going to care about the book. I think that's uh, me blathered my point for enough. So toodaloo!